Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyel Kuzar, and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and More. Just so you guys know, I had to do my intro like 10 times. <laughs> You know how you feel like something is just not right? Like I just kept saying, hey guys, <laughs> over and over. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Things are just crazy today. Anyways, so I wanted to bring you guys this tutorial on this balloon centerpiece that I did a couple of weeks ago. So I decorated this teddy bear baby shower with a bunch of balloons. And one of my favorite things about that baby shower was the centerpieces. So I wanted to make this video for you guys and walk you through exactly how I created those centerpieces because they're so easy, but they're so beautiful. And I love centerpieces like that. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna need is a PVC pipe, okay? Now, for the baby shower, I went to Lowe's and got the PVC pipes, but for this video, I went to Home Depot and Home Depot was actually cheaper, okay? So I got, this is a one inch wide and it was 10 feet long and I got this for $5. I think it was like $5.83 or something like that and it was double that price at Lowe's, okay? So now what you're gonna need to do is cut this. If you go to Home Depot, they'll cut it for you. I'll show you how I cut mine, okay? There's a PVC pipe cutter and it's super simple. So I'm gonna cut mine at three feet high, but if that's too high for you, feel free to cut it at two feet. At the baby shower that I did, I created six of these. So three of them were three feet high and three of them were two and a half feet high, okay? So they don't all have to be the same size. So let me cut this. So let me show you, as you can see, I got this from Lowe's, but they have these at Home Depot as well, all right? All right, so three feet is about right here. And then you take your PVC pipe cutter, all right? And then you just keep pressing it. Hopefully you guys can see this. Just keep pressing it. <laughs> you see, super simple. And then it has a nice smooth edge to it, all right? And then what I'm gonna do is just take some Lysol wipes and I'm just gonna wipe it down. Some of these PVC pipes can be extremely dirty. So I'm just gonna wipe it down. So I'm just gonna plug this in and let this warm up. So while that is warming up, let me show you the base. So I got these round floral foam bases. I'm not exactly sure what these are called, but I call these foam circles, okay? So these are seven inch foam circles that I got off of Amazon, okay? So don't worry, I'm gonna put all the links to the materials in the description of this video. So what you wanna do is take your PVC pipe and put it into the foam circle and make sure you put it in the middle, okay? So put it in the middle of the foam circle. Okay, you see that? Now this feels pretty secure, but I like for it to be extra secure. So that's the reason why I have my hot glue. So I'm gonna use some hot glue and I have some Gorilla Glue as well just to reinforce this, okay? Now when you get PVC pipe, it always has like barcodes and numbering on the back of it. So you'll have to spray paint it. Even if you want this to be white, you're gonna need to spray paint over the lettering and the barcodes and stuff that's on it. But for these centerpieces, I'm actually going to do this tan color. It's a matte river rock. So I'm going to take this outside and spray paint it 
And then after that, we'll start on the balloons. Before we start with the balloons, I want to give you guys a couple of tips on spray painting, okay? I spray paint a lot. <laughs> Anybody who follows my channel, you'll see that I spray paint in a lot of my videos. So what I have learned is to always buy extra cans of spray paint. If you don't use them, you could always take them back. But the worst is when you need more spray paint and you're pressed for time and you don't have it, okay? So I would always recommend that you buy one to two bottles extra of the spray paint, okay? Because I always underestimate how much spray paint that I need and I end up having to run back to the store, okay? And the second tip that I wanna give you guys is not to be too close when you're spray painting, okay? So I always make this mistake when I'm going around whatever it is that I'm spray painting. Sometimes I get too close to it. And then what happens is the spray paint, it kind of gathers and then it drips, okay? So you wanna make sure that you're not standing too close to it. So read the instructions. I think they tell you to be about eight to 12 inches away or at least like six to eight inches away from whatever it is that you're spray painting, okay? Don't get too close. So now I'm gonna plug in my pump and we're gonna start blowing up some balloons. So for this balloon centerpiece, I'm gonna be using white sand, one of my favorite colors, cocoa, and blush. But really guys, you could use any colors that you want, all right? But I'm gonna be using these colors because I'm gonna add a teddy bear on it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm taking two 11 inch balloons, one of the blush color and then one of the white sand color, and I'm just gonna blow these up, okay? All right. And then take some air out of them and round them. All right, make sure they're round and then wrap it around and tie it. All right, so this is a duplet, okay? It has two balloons, so it's called a duplet. I'm gonna make four more of these, so it's gonna be five in total. Now we're gonna put the balloons together just like a balloon topiary, okay? So we're gonna take two, cross them over, then just be aware of where the middle is. Then you're gonna add two more. Just pull that through. Then you're gonna add two more. always move around the colors if there's too many of the same color in the same place all right okay all right and now I'm gonna blow up some five inch balloons to add to this If you guys have any questions on how I blow up my five inch balloons and how I connect them, I'm gonna put a link in the description to a previous tutorial that I did. So I did another tutorial on a balloon centerpiece where I blew up my balloons just like this. So if you have any questions, you can definitely check out that other tutorial, all right? I also use some nine inch balloons. It's okay if you don't have nine inch balloons. I just used some of the nine inch in the white sand color because that's what I had available, all right? But you don't have to, you could use all five inch balloons. Now with this balloon centerpiece, it's meant to be organic, okay? And this one, I would actually describe this as more artistic because you could add however many balloons that you want 
and it doesn't have to be in a specific shape. So when I did this for the baby shower, some of them were more round and then some of them look more like a cloud. So it really just depends on, you know, what's your preference. If you want them to be more of a round shape, then you would just add the balloons and fill it out so that it will look more round. But if you want, it could look more like a cloud. So you just need to add more balloons on the side. There's no right or wrong way to do this. And that's why I love these balloon centerpieces. I think they're more artistic. They don't have a real defined look to them. All right, so let's add these five inch balloons here. What I did last time for the baby shower was I used the neck of the balloon to connect these, okay? So you just take this, right? And then you just tie it together. another one right over here okay so I'm gonna add another one right here so they kind of take on a shape of their own so it's really just a matter of preference as to where you're adding these just add these balloons all around All right guys, so it's the next day. I let this dry overnight and now it's time to add the balloons. So before you do that, you wanna add an uninflated 11 inch balloon to the top of it, okay? I like to put a balloon on top of it so that when you add your balloons, they don't pop, okay? And now I'm gonna add my balloons to it so you just want to find an opening and then slide it down on the PVC pipe. So I'm going to tie the ribbon around this arm in a knot. Right, and then leave two pieces out and then tie the ends also in a knot. And then you just take your ribbon and wrap it around one of the balloons on the bottom. The last step is to add your flowers to the bottom. Now you wanna use flowers that match whatever balloon colors that you're using. So I'm gonna add some pompous grass. And I'm gonna put that all along the base and then I'll show you how it looks. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I'll make sure I put the links to all the materials in the description of this video. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video.